Hey everyone, Soap MW Gaming, and welcome back to Tell Me Why. Episode 2 was just released yesterday, so I can't wait to jump in. Uh, we're probably going to get a recap. Okay, so it's just taking me to the main menu. Alright. So we're probably going to get a recap of what happened in episode 1, but we uh, kind of need to be a bit more on Tyler's side as Allison. <laughs> There's a little bit of a divide at the end of the last one. Uh, also, I've been a little bit wrong about the game. I thought there was five games. I was, I was under the impression there was five games. There's been uh, five episodes. There's been five episodes with all the other games. This one only has three. So this would be the midway point of the game. And then in, I believe, two weeks' time, we will get the final episode. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of goblins the crafty goblins did everything together until one day when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived blamed for the darkness brother goblin was forced to leave the forest while his sister had to stay behind Together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. to the nine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tomorrow no. we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> yeah. All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Oh, is that Eat mint chop chip? Hell yeah. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. Okay, this and is a little the ominous the, scoop the cuts of dirt and fell, music. The tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> love you, Mom. Mwah. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. Gotta be the haircut now. Ollie? What a waste. Why'd you leave the ice cream on the counter? Allison! Ollie! Allison, help!
So that was the big reveal for the end of the last episode. So Allison killed the mom and they lied and Tyler took the fall or Ollie. This directed by Zack Schneider, there's a lot of slow mo. <laughs> Come on, headshot, headshot. Closing a chapter of our lives, you know? But instead, we spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. No, oh, prequels are the worst. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh. Can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. The negotiator. Goblin face is keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell. And trash can is, well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Okay. Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. <laughs> 
Everything's working fine, palm it off. Steno. Uh, I thought you said that it was gonna be the next owner's problem. Why are you? Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, Whoa. and more stuff. It's a house. We don't really want to keep anything in here, right? Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. <laughs> Smell. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. Say ah. Uh, I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. Could clean it up. Maybe someone could clean it up. It's well made. Your call. We'll keep it. Keeping it. All right. Um, are we meant to be sorting the house, or am I meant to be sorting the house? Recipes. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Oh, come on. You're doing a great job. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Mm. Crummy table and Slide wobbly chairs. We will sell. We can make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? Like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Yeet her out. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, uh, I was There's hoping you could there. make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. You got ketchup? I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Oh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Ugh. No good. I do love ranch sauce, though. Hmm. What to do with this? Uh, um, let's sell. Sell everything. Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. Okay. What's this doing down here? Is that gum? <laughs> oh, I guess that was probably me. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Poor Volcano. She was in rough shape when we found her. A Good vol? thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. Let's remember. Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Hmm. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry, too. <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does, I guess. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still deciding Still what to do with them. Uh, I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... I get it. But not really. I get it. It's just weird. I'm seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. We need to be nicer to him. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, Because we don't yeah, want to uh, split them My up. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. And she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Okay, just gonna... Uh, we got one more to look at. Uh, just backing up. Oh, man. I love this one. I was just looking at that. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, smile. Like I was saying. Here, I'll show you. Look, is it outside? No, yeah. Come on, honey, smile. Like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you betcha. You were just being bratty. Was I, though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. So yeah, because Tyler saw Allison, the Mad Hunter. I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <laughs> Oops, All right. I forgot. Oh, is another memory? So we don't want... Tyler to get too angry. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I want to clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sounds fair? Yes. <laughs> you're right. I was kind of being a brat. Caught you red-handed. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? What about you? Do you want it? If there's anything you want, speak now. 
I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. So, what's this? I really like that armchair. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. Fine, we'll keep it. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? Are you gonna keep doing that? <laughs> yes. And finally. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. <sighs> yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun, are we? Yes, I am. This is Don't getting this utterly ridiculous. Is there a limit to how many times hey, I Allison, go? come take a break with me. <laughs> Am I going to wear this thing out? <laughs> All right, I guess that is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more time. Hey, clean freak. You want coffee? Yes. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. You're welcome to stick your hand in there to check. Ground control to Major Allison. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Coffee. Would you rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm, nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in... Mm-hmm. How long have you been waiting to make Ice that palm. joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on my caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. What? For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. If you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. He, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder the so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. Okay. Hey, Allison. Where's the coffee? Let's look at our Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. <laughs> You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that 
Maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Detective work. Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor Get me. Get my coffee. We're gonna be working for a while. So... Okay, so that's just in the orientation. So there's a bear there. Uh, bear with fish, so bear in the middle. With Eddie. You go here. <clears throat> but the moose has got a fish right there. Mm, this one. Swap these two around then. Oh, Jesus, is that the mad hunter there? Was this gonna just tell me if I'm right or. You done? Alright, I think <clears throat> I'm done. You sure? Um. I don't know. On second thought. Let me just give it a once over. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, well, that's he same, was kind of always there, lurking. <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one. Too bad the law isn't really just. Alright, well, I think that's right then. This time I've got it. We'll see. Let's go! How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people. Or this one. What one? Uh -huh. Ooh, the mad hunter. You better hurry, or the mad hunter will catch us. We need to hide this way. <gasps> what's what's going on? I I don't know. I, is he here? Is he really here? Uh, I'm scared. Go away. Yeah, go back to the forest. Okay. Um, I forgot about that. We've been pretending he was there. And then, suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? I heart. Ooh. Allison. Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh, 
I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, uh... Anyway, I also Thought came you were by a to say I fired up the Google and I, uh... I did some reading. I didn't know the difference between all those words. I mean, I, you know, never been much of a reader. Huh? But I think I get why what I said was wrong, and I'm real sorry. Oh, and before I forget, he's not such a bad guy. The lady Just... of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. That fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Boxes in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Gonna cook up some fish. That apology was something. Come on. He's we trying. Lights, so be nice to the helpful man. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. Let's be nice. You really helped her out, huh? Oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help. Your mother, she... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Um... <sighs> Just open the door. And give us our keys. All of them. No, I, uh... I figured I might still need to do really some maintenance, wanna... so, uh... No nope. question him too We're much. good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. <clears throat> Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? <sighs> you didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son. Give me a try. Good. Here, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. No oh, shit. No, oh, that opened. <laughs> well, at least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's easy to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. I'm not asking. Go on. Okay, let's go. Just flipping on and off. All right. <laughs> Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Okay. Ooh, a heater would be nice. All right. Let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Um, I wrapped up your electrical board. I've got to run, but in case you want to check it out, careful not to overload the circuits. You'll have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Amps total up to 120 for the whole house. Is there more fuses than these three? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, shit. 
Oh. What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, just uh, just a bum knee. I uh, okay. wrecked it playing ball. ball. All right. Um, we want in the kitchen, which will be two. That's damn full back around. And the lights, I guess. Oh, hill. <laughs> oh, I got hurt. Yeah, that's rough. And do we really need the outlets? Actually, no, we don't need outlets. Sure, we don't. So we'll go. Everything seems to be working just fine. Problem must be the lights. Lights. No shit. It's covered in rust. Yeah, nothing a little salt and lime. Um. Salt and lime. It's a door latch. Ah, oh, okay, he color-coded the wire. Yeah, okay. I see, I don't know the colors of the fuses. I can't see them until I put them in. Really? Hey, sometimes old Sam likes to feel fancy. All right, well, what's the 15 look like? Okay. Let's try this one. Oh, so we can't have the heater going? Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? I just want to check something. Hey, uh, you two got any, uh, fire insurance? What for? You and your gun are always around. Oh, oh not always. Water heater, I guess? Send off a bear with smart-ass remarks, you know? We're not getting a gun, Sam. Am I all done, or what? I'm confused. This isn't very intuitive. It seemed to be color coded. What? Ah, uh, there's mold everywhere. Well, don't stick your nose in there. Shh. Like it's a goddamn bouquet. Mildew's always a problem with these doors. But they're on the what? north side. No the, the yellow can't go like anywhere really else, right? Huh? <laughs> hey now, watch yourself. We just need to clean it with turpentine, right? And borax? Mm-hmm. Probably ought to blow dry it, too. I usually air out the barn much as I can. With oil and flame. Then feed? Oh, hell no. That stuff's a hatchery for mold. What? Teak is what you want. Yeah. Each fuse should have the right color. Okay. See the little silver bits? It needs to be forced back onto the brass bit. That's probably what was jamming it in the first place. Probably so. You've got a good head for this stuff. Yeah, well, you're not going oh. to fix stuff around here. <laughs> oh, I have multiple. <laughs> keep this place standing. Okay. That <laughs> tell me how many I have, game. Jeez. Hmm? Seems good. Dick move game. Tell me how many fuses I had. I thought I only had the one of each of the three. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. Did he give her the gun? For Bye. protection? What was that about? What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap? 
Be my guest. But it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk? Found Marianne's stash. I'm not gonna look at those. Um. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. What else are you doing in here? Oh, just saw the mat hunt. Mat hunt. Really? Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged beauty. Beauty? Nah, nah, nah. Oh, man. I'm going to put together the sweetest toolbox ever. What, what am I doing here? Ah, oh, looking at the gun. I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. <sighs> well, something about it really got to her. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that gun rack. Uh, remind me to take it down later. Predo rep. What? <laughs> What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense Let's a story. Go. Well, Look. if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. You weren't even supposed to be Memory here. Memory powers! Gonna have to lose it. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What call? What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. Okay. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Oh, out! jeez. What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Oh, God. Um. Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you 
you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please, leave. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? Uh, need to try and side with Tyler a little bit more. I have no idea. We shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? I want to go with Allison's memory because I have a feeling that it she's helped. remembering things a little bit more clearly. It but I Get out don't here. want to keep splitting up, or I don't want to keep pushing for uh, pushing Tyler further away. So we'll go with his memory this time. Get out of here! Get off my property right now! So, we agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. I don't think and so. And then but lied okay. about it. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Fair enough. I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I, I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Not quite. <laughs> Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. Not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? We need to find out what's it's, going on. It's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh. Well, I think I just made <laughs> Tina's shit list. All right. We're going to leave this part here. So, I don't quite agree with the decision I made, but we need to try... 
not to further push Tyler away because we did that in episode one and I don't want things to get worse between them. Um, not that it seems bad and I don't know how big the decisions will actually be in the end, but him seeing the Mad Hunter makes me anxious that he's going to... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what. Bless you. Alison, you're always sneezing. God damn. But... We're going to have to pick this one up in the next one. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to let me know by leaving a like, comment, subscribing. All that good stuff really helps me out. Appreciate anyone taking the time to watch the videos. And if you want to stay up to date with future ones, make sure to hit the bell icon and turn on notifications. And as always, I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye, everyone.